Hello everyone, welcome to Balin Chess Kiss. Today I want to show you the game played by Lacheda and Victor. And this is one of very beautiful game and it's only complete in only 23 moves. The game started up with pawn to d4, d5, c4, e6, knight to f3, knight to f6, g3, bishop to b4 and check the king. Bishop to d2 and bishop back to e7. And this is the first five move, and you can see that the position are slightly better for the white. Then the game to continue. Bishop to g2, preparing for short castle and castling from the black, then white castling and knight to e4. Then bishop to f4 to avoid the action with the knight. Then knight to d7, queen to c2, c6, and knight to c3, then knight to d6. And in this position, in this 16th square, and here we have white have three weapon three pieces on this 16 square while the black only have one so in this position the white has more activity to play and in this position white is a slightly better in the game then the game to continue and white keep pressure the black by playing pawn to c5 to attack the knight then knight to f5 then again white continue to play e4 and attacking the knight and in this position the white is better so the black capture the pawn by playing d takes e4 then knight takes e4 and now the black play knight to f6 and knight capture the knight knight takes f6 and check the king then bishop takes f6 and rook a to d1 and here the rook is pinning the queen so if the knight capture the pawn even though we have Two pieces protect the knight, but the rook is pinning the queen. Then the knight can capture the knight. And after bishop capture the knight, bishop takes d4. Then you have queen to e4 and attack the bishop. And if the bishop to move away, then the rook can capture the queen and winning the queen so in the actual game after rook a to d1 then black play rook and queen to a5 to avoid the pin and now white play rook to d3 aiming with the idea of aiming pawn to g4 and attack the knight and you also can have pawn to g5 attack the bishop so in this position this free pawn cannot be captured it will be bad for the black for example if the queen capture the a2 pawn then you can have g4 attack the knight so the knight have very little limited place to move so if the knight move to e7 then the bishop to d6 and pinning the rook so bishop to d6 and if the knight to g6 then you can have rook to a3 and attack the queen 
and if you now the queen has very limited space to move so the only best place you can move is to queen d5 and then white can continue to attack by playing rook to a4 protect the pawn first then after that any uh, the white uh, the black can play rook to d8 and here you can have knight to e5 and the bishop will be attacking the queen and trap the queen for example knight to e5 then the queen is trapped and have no place to move and there is no pieces to prevent the attack so after rook takes d6 then the bishop just capture the queen so back to rook d3 the black play rook to d8 and now the white continue to bring another rook to the board rook d rook f to d1 and now rook to a3 you win the queen as well because the bishop already control a square the c7 square and the pawn is controlling the b6 square and the bishop here can back to f1 and attack another diagonal the f1 and a6 square so if i make an example move like h6 then rook to a3 attack the queen and queen to b4 then rook to a4 and attack the queen and protecting the pawn a4 then if the queen to b5 then you can have bishop to f1 and attack the queen and now the queen is trapped so if the queen to capture the rook then the queen will capture back again so after rook f to d1 black play e5 and now the pawn takes d takes e5 and rook takes d3 to exchange the rook then the queen take the rook again queen takes d3 and black continue to develop by playing bishop to e7 and now white continue to play and make a brilliant sacrifice uh, white make a four brilliant sacrifice and win the game can you figure out what is the white idea i give you a couple of seconds to figure out well congratulations for those who found the beautiful idea and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the move the white continue to play b4 a strong move and attack the queen and this is a sacrifice of the pawn b4 and black capture the pawn queen takes b4 so once the queen capture the pawn the queen have no control of the d s square so this white queen can make a sacrifice towards the d s square now come the second sacrifice the white continue to play pawn to the, the queen to d8 and check the king and this is a queen sacrifice the second sacrifice from the white and if the bishop to capture the queen then the rook 
you capture back the bishop and checkmate the king and this is a back rank checkmate so rook takes bishop and checkmate so in the actual game after queen d8 check then the bishop to f8 to prevent the check and then the third sacrifice by using the pawn to e6 and attacking the pawn and with the idea of push to e7 so the third sacrifice by playing the great move pawn to e6 and if the black use the bishop to capture then the white will winning the rook so bishop takes e6 and queen takes e8 a8 and if the black capture with the pawn f takes e6 then bishop will go to d6 and attacking the bishop so if the knight to capture then the pawn c takes d6 capture and this pawn will be pushing to d7 and attack the bishop if the queen capture the pawn at c5 then the white can capture the f7 pawn and check the king and if the king move to h8 then again the bishop can come to d6 and have a double attack of the pieces for example bishop to d6 then h5 and if the you can take the free bishop or the queen so after bishop d6 if the knight capture the bishop then the queen just take the bishop and checkmate if the bishop if the queen capture the bishop then the rook will just capture the queen as the bishop cannot capture back because the queen is pinning the king so in here you have a lot of tactics to play in this position and after this third sacrifice by playing e6 the black play queen to c4 so the fourth sacrifice the white play is pawn to e7 and after this position the black the black resign because there is no way to save this position from being checkmate so if the game to continue the white the black can play queen to f1 and check the king to delete the checkmate only so queen to f1 then you just use the bishop to capture back the queen and now you can just move a h6 pawn to uh, use the move to for the king to escape then you can use the pawn to capture the f8 and become a queen and check and king to h7 and then there's a one place for the king to move therefore you just move your knight to e5 and prevent the king from being escaped so after knight to e5 and any move from the black there will be checkmate from the queen either to g8 or h8 so example knight takes g3 and you can have queen to g8 and checkmate the king and here with this thank you